Okay, beauties. Thank you guys so much, of course, for keeping it beautifully flawed. It's the girl RB, and we are here with another one. No, I call this an epic one. I call this a hit. Like your girl can't draw. <laughs> guys, I am really, 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 really in love with how this came out. I am amazed. Like, I don't know how to draw. I am super, super happy for it. And if you want to see how I accomplished this, of course, you got to do nothing but stick around. But before you can go on in, I'm going to ask you guys, did you subscribe to my channel? Sis, bro, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and, of course, and hit that subscription button below. Go ahead and leave me a like, a comment, and if you can share, so a friend of a friend of a friend can see and join the family, I would really, really appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let me not hold you any further, and let me go ahead and send you straight on into the video. And, of course, guys, thank you so much, and remember to rock your flaws on it. Hey beauties, so to get the desired shape of the butterfly's wing, I'm going to be using my pencil. This is a pencil that I literally use to draw my brows. If you have that or anything else that you can make out, make an outline, that's what you want to do. So as, as, as I said before, just making the outline using my pencil and I'll be doing this until I get the desired shape that I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm using two base. I'm using the P. Louise base. It's zero. And the other is orange. Now I'm using some brushes that I've gotten from Amazon in a paint. Um, I think I'll just link it below. But there's some oil paints that you can use on both face and body. Now, you do have the option of using your, your P. Louise base if you want to. Or you can go ahead and use the paints. Now, the reason I chose the P. Louise was I was not sure, as well as I didn't have any orange there and I'd have to mix it. And I wasn't sure of the orange shade that I would be getting. And so I opted to use my P. Louise base. Now, I'm just going to be filling in. And I'm going back and forth in my bro here because I want to make sure every strand is coated both front and back. And this is going to also help me to disguise it as much as possible because, of course, the bro here is black and you want to get it as concealed as possible. As I said, I'm just going over and filling in the outline of how I want the wings to look. Just, just fine tuning, all right? Just fine tuning and making sure that it is coming out in the way that I want it to. No, I'm just, I won't be filling in everything. And the reason I'm doing this is for an ombre effect. And you'll see as the video progresses. So line outlining first. Remember, you can, you don't have to use P. Louise. You can use whatever, whatever, whatever. You can use whatever you have. If you don't have P. Louise, if you don't have any colored base, go ahead and use some oil paints. If you don't have that, I'll try to see if I can. I'm going to do an experiment and see how best, Um, because I thought about using the base with eyeshadows. 
like maybe you know sprinkling or making shadows in there but hey I'm enjoying myself because i think at this point i'm really liking how it's turning out all right so i'm going to be going in with the white as i said i'm looking for an ombre effect the butterfly i don't remember its name i didn't even have it in mind until i realized that it's coming out like that butterfly okay so i'm going to be using well i'm blending out rather here so i'm guessing i'm here and i'm blending out and i'm going to be going in officially with the white base and then after applying this i'll be moving in to blend it into each other Alright, so I'm using a flat brush. This is from AOA. I don't know the name of it. Um, but I'm just using it to buff and blend the product properly. I'm just making sure it's flat and even on my skin. Enjoying myself because I'm really, at this point, I'm feeling this thing. I like, I cannot believe that I did this. Like, that's the reason I'm, you know, being me here. Yeah, I'm feeling myself. So... I'm just going back and forth in the base because I want to make sure because of the shade I'll be using I want to make sure I provide for that shadow a very 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 good base all right so I'm just pressing the white in and of course I'll be going back and forth between both base to make sure they are blended into each other seamlessly So I'm just using the Coty Air Spun on a fluffy brush. This is a Jeffree Star. And I'm just picking on them, just knock, knocking off. There's a downside to using this though. I personally believe when I set the concealer, which I think I don't, I didn't need to because I would have been using eyeshadows. I don't think I like the idea of setting this with powder because whilst i was trying to apply the yellow it became very patchy it's not evident on camera but it was really patchy and no one wants to have patchy shadows because what happens is there is base there's like there are like layers of base right layers of base and then on top of that powder and then shadows and i'm just cleaning up using the micellar water just to clean up and sharpen the outline of the shape of the wings you want to make it as neat and this is the perfect opportunity to shape your wings in the way that is pleasing to you okay so this is where it gets super duper fun i guess i had to redo my voiceover and i'm tired but yes i'm using my zulu palette that palette is so handy dandy and it's by juvia's and i'm using the yellow from the palette no i am packing the shades on i really wanted my butterfly the wings to look 
super pigmented. I wanted it to look vibrant. I wanted them to stand out. I wanted you to be able to see them, honey, from afar. And so I was packing on the shades. You want to make sure you build up. And I was building up. But as I said before, the yellow got patchy because there were layers of base. And on top of that, there was a slight um, layer of loose powder and then on top of that of course the shadow so it was not really laying as smooth and i'm saying this it's not showing but i'm trying to say this for you not to repeat the mistake i i made you don't have to set you're going to be using shadows just the same you don't need to set with a loose powder if you want to you can go ahead but i'm just saying all right so i'm using um the orange is it yes i'm using that orange from the same zulu palette and because it's an ombre look we're gonna be we're gonna start moving from that yellow to uh, an orange and then we're gonna be get we're gonna go darker all right so the color scheme is really nice and vibrant you just want to make sure it's perfectly done and of course i'm always going to be on about blending blending in anything that you do is very very important with a look like this it's the blending for me if the blending is not it it won't be as flawless it won't flow it won't have that flow to say all right so as i as i'm doing i'm going back and forth into these shades i'll be doing that until as i'd always say i'm getting the desired blend and if you don't know how to blend all you got to do is just go back and forth with the colors don't really you don't need to use excess colors you just want to get both ends to marry into each other and that is when you would know you have that perfect blend um with between two colors so back and forth it will be now i said this in my previous video if you've not watched it you can go ahead it's the do's and don'ts of makeup um so let me just explain here so i'm using a pack bit i'm using packing brush and a Packing brush is, is the flat one that you saw me using there with the orange. That's a packing brush. And uh, so a packing brush packs on. It's flat. It packs on. A fluffy brush blends. All right. So that's what it is. Now I'm using the a red orange from the James Charles palette. I didn't have any in the palette that I was using. And so I had to get it from my James Charles palette. So use whatever you have your your butterfly does not have to look like mine okay it does not have to come out like mine you can use whatever colors you want to use whatever makes you happy but this is what i was feeling and so i decided to use these shades now i'm gonna be i'm using that flat brush to press in the red that red orange because i want it to build up i don't want it to be blended until i reach the very edges I want it to blend when it reaches the edge or where it meets the orange shade. So I'll be doing that as I'm not going to say until I get the desired blend that I'm looking for. Question that I want to ask though. Does anyone want to see me ever um, do like more hair videos if you want to see more hair videos like how I got my hair. My hair was black. How I got my hair um, red. Just hit me up. Just mention it in the comments below i want to really show you guys how i save money i've done a video before but yeah so i'm using this this is my um oil paint i purchased this um it was purchased on amazon um i don't remember the name but it's going to be in the description below don't you dare worry i'm using i'm first going to be using the liner to outline the pattern and listen i was winging it pun intended i was definitely winging this i first off don't really know how to draw i saw in i saw um before like um butterflies and i was like trying to think or trying to remember how it looked and i was just winging i was literally winging it 
like I did not know what I'm doing but um, if you want to make it more easier for yourself you want to use a picture then of a butterfly as a reference because I really wish I'd had a, something as a reference because it was super hard um, but for somebody who ain't no artist for somebody who ain't you know a painter i am pretty proud of the outcome now point to note though on the other eye and um the reason you see the other eye being done before because i'm testing everything that i'm doing on the other eye the other eye i do what i'm whatever i'm doing over there and then i'll just uh, mimic whatever whatever i done on the other side over on the what i was at on the right side but yeah um so on the other side i literally i don't know what happened like i was just maybe i i'm just wanting to get this thing done like i forgot but um for the step the first step i done was to outline with the black the liner outline the shape i don't know what took me over to make me to literally do the patterns first i guess because i thought they were harder i personally believe the other steps are the easiest and that's just my belief i'm not saying for you it's going to be the easiest but for me listen i think it was easier it was was, was the easier part because trying to get that pattern was was no easy feat for me but still grateful it turned out just the same Guys, my baby is crying in the background. He wants to sleep. And whenever he wants to sleep, he cries a whole lot. I don't know why. He just doesn't just fall asleep. He cries. I have to be singing. But anyways, um, just saying that to him, even that you guys hear him crying. All right, so I'm using the oil, the oil paint here. And of course, it's the black. And it, it's made easier for me. It's made easier because the first off, that liner tip is just, it's felt. It's thick. It's it's not a perfect tool, but I had nothing else. Um, But I thought it was easier to use the liner first. If you think the liner is harder, use whatever you think is easier for you. All right. So I'm just trying to see how best i can like fix these lines for them to look more butterfly -y. i don't know it's not the coolest pattern in the world but it came it, it, it came out it represented all right so as i said earlier on if you can if you can look at something or memorize something to use as reference for your drawing that would be that would be perfectly fine that would be perfectly fine. But I was trying to draw from memory how the butterfly looked. I was literally trying to draw from memory. And apparently that's what my memory looks like. I think that's what my memory looks like. But yeah. I'm, I'm chattering away guys. I've not done this for a long time. And let me just give you guys a small explanation why I was missing. Like. I kind of feel, feel frustrated to be honest with you, feel as if, and I was so swamped, and I don't know, it was, it's like a whole bunch of things. Is it mental health? Listen, that is wealth. Like, if you're, if mentally you're not there, nothing happens, nothing moves for you. Like, and I'm saying this, if ever you feel to step away from anything that you're doing, if you're doing something and you think it's, it's taking too much out of you, doesn't matter what it is, it is okay to step away. It is never a bad thing to step away. Always remember, your without your mental health, without your men, without your your mental health being in the right place, like your life will not run smooth as a person. Nothing will seem to go right. Nothing will seem to go right. Now, what I'm doing here, she's feeling it like oh, I did that. I'm just using. <clears throat> excuse me, from the James Charles palette, the black, and I'm just taking down, I'm basically setting 
the, the oil paint. And because it's oil paint, I'm using the black eyeshadow to set it. But as I was saying, take care of your head. There are times when it's, it's fine because I remember a time in my life where I had to like close myself off from social media. And it's fine. It is okay to do it. You're not missing out. You're not obligated to do it. Step away if you need to. So I had to step away, excuse me, for some time to get myself or my head rather in the game. And I came back strong, didn't I? All right. So I'm cleaning up. This is this is literally some eye wipes. And I'm cleaning up. Um, and I was cleaning up. Now I'm using the white a white liner. To create some dots, as I said, mimicking what the butterfly looked like to me in my head. Okay, really hope it turned out good. Because I was wondering at one point if I should put white, um, if butterfly has white in the middle. I really was not sure. So, yeah. Let me also say, guys, no music, um, no music because I keep getting copyright, you know, queens and all of that. But yeah, bro. So I'm using my, so I'm lining my, my eyes and this is also going to represent the separation between the top and the bottom portion of the wing. So this is kind of like neat, you know, it, it came in handy. Neat, right? Still, get, still doing the liner and I will be lining the bottom of my lash my bottom what, what, me at, what, me at, what, what me really I try to say yes, so I will be lining the bottom I may still can't get it my apologies guys my apologies but yes I'm lining the bottom part of my eye my under eye girl yes I was lining my under eye and yeah, baby, the mink lashes, honey. I hate this glue. Like, I'm sorry. This is, this, let me, it's the Ardell glue. And I don't like it because it takes too long to dry. Like, if y'all knew the struggle. The first one was, wasn't bad. But this one was like, ugh, it was not easy to stick. I had to be blowing on it. I had to be doing so many things. At one point, I had the fan on it. <sighs> but anyways, guys. This was the look. Y'all will see the reveal. Really, really want to thank you guys so much for taking the time out in supporting me. And don't forget, please, to like, comment, share, and, of course, subscribe.